All right, so I got a hypothetical situation for you guys. So you're going to be a wrestler. You're, you're going to be a pro wrestler. What do you choose as your gimmick? Like, what do you, <laughs> like, what's your gimmick? Maybe what's your name? Um, maybe what's your finishing maneuver called? Things like that. I'll, I'll go first just to <laughs> show you the nonsense I came up with. So my gimmick, I'm the tally man, right? And I'm kind of like, uh, if you know that uh, Batman villain, Victor Zaz, who has like all the marks on his skin, like every time he kills somebody. So I figure every time I beat somebody, I have a tattoo artist put it like a really small, like, hash yeah. mark on my skin. <laughs> well, wait for it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, so I figure one of my moves is the Bronco Buster, and I call it Tally Me Banana. <laughs> Tally Me Banana? <laughs> Do you know what the Bronco Buster is? No. So basically you get the guy down in the corner and you like run and you basically straddle his face right with your crotch and you like <laughs> jump on him a bunch of times. It's really stupid. When you attack somebody, you usually don't want to go get in crotch first. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I always wondered about the, uh, how did that movie even come to be? Like, you thought, hey, you know what, this will be a good idea. It's like, what if he sticks his leg up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of those uh, wrestling moves like defy a lot, like the, the whole, like, it doesn't make sense. Like, how would this hurt a person? They just like carry somebody and drop them on their shoulder or something. It's like, how, how does that do anything? <laughs> the Rikishi ass. Oh yeah, the stink face. Stink face. <laughs> Yeah. And, and somewhere along, uh, I would have to have also a move called the Tally Whacker. <laughs> <laughs> the ref might have to be distracted for that right. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, what would your gimmick be? You gotta have one. I don't know, man. I'd probably just be like a hillbilly, go back to my roots, man. I mean, right now with the way your hair is and everything, I think you could do a hillbilly gimmick. Yeah. Or Jesus. Oh, yeah, you could do a Jesus gimmick. Like, but you'd have to be a heel. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Shithole Jesus. <laughs> That'd be great actually. What yeah. would your what would your finishing move be? The Judas or something? I, don't know, I, I mean what did you what did you Jesus do that was like aggressive? At least like threw threw people out of the uh threw out the money makers or something. I guess you could like uh uh, I think like maybe you could like walk over <laughs> be, like oh, yeah. walking on water. Or something. <laughs> no, that's terrible. That is terrible. Uh, the see? Last Supper. <laughs> maybe that might be something. <laughs> it's also the book of oh, right. <laughs> 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 uh, Or the stink face. Or the stink face. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you could do like a really like, almost like, because uh, because they've been for this is like a history of wrestling is where like like per, people of like certain ethnicities th they'll like force them to do like a really over the top like Stasis. almost oh, yeah. yeah like like the WWE years ago had Crime Time which were like this black tag team <laughs> that would like steal shit <laughs> and like you know there's been Samoan <laughs> teams that were like savages and barbarians you know. <laughs> So you could be you could be like a really like almost Apuish type. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't they also That's they had like tough guy. they had a Middle Eastern guy that they discontinued, but he was like a terrorist like figure. Oh yeah, yeah, and like in the wake of nine eleven. Yeah, like, they're like, oh, we'll uh, shut this one down. Yeah, they had like this Middle Eastern guy that was, yeah was like everybody hated him though. They did hate yeah they did. <laughs> he had heat, but yeah. <laughs> Isn't it funny how like you know today. That they probably wouldn't, probably wouldn't do something like that. But that was like well, back in the early two thousands. They thought that was like was that was still got by. <laughs> yeah, wrestling has a certain audience that would like buy into that, though. It was definitely. I remember. Yeah, it, people hated him. Definitely, they did. I I don't know though if it was all like racist or if he was just really good at being annoying yeah <laughs> i think it might have been that more than anything but uh but yeah he definitely did get some heat from the audience <laughs> yeah hey do you do you know who the great collie is yeah yeah he's like because i mean 
terrible in-ring performer. <laughs> like, <laughs> but uh, just got in the business because of how he looks, because he's like I don't, eight feet tall or yeah. something. Yeah. But yeah, I always heard like he's pretty famous, you know, in India. Yeah, I've heard of him. Like, uh, he was also in a movie in America. He did a little bit of stuff. Here. Yeah, I want to say he was in the that remake of The Longest Yard with Adam Sandler. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. That does sound familiar. He was in a spy movie, too, like a funny spy movie or something. <laughs> and Steve Carell, what was it? A Get Smart? Oh, I yeah. Did watch that. He might have been in that. Mm. I think I did see that once, but I have no memory of it. What? Wasn't he called Tiger Ali Singh or something before? Or was um, that somebody else? That was somebody else. Oh, okay. um, yeah, there was, back in the day, there was a Tiger Ali Singh. Mm. Um, they went for every demographic in that name, Tiger Ali Singh. Because <laughs> he got like two different religions, even. They did like to spread things out that way. Like, <laughs> Gives you a little spice, I guess. <laughs> Mahatma, Mohammed, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, you, you gotta get, uh, gotta get your audience. <laughs> yeah. There, there, I guess there is like a big, um, you know, wrestling, um, fanship in India. Yeah, there is. Yeah, but, uh, it could be anywhere. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, Indian people are like less sensitive, like over there they're less sensitive to stereotypes. Me over here, if I saw like, you know, a racist Indian guy on wrestling, I'd be like, I don't want to watch this. <laughs> but over there, they're like, ha ha, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, what was Hogan's real name? Because they made him be Irish, right? Well, uh, Terry Bollea is his real name. Yeah. Hulk Hogan? Yeah, they turned him into an Irish guy. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, is, is Hogan an Irish name? I think so. I, I don't know what, like, very early Hulk Hogan was like. Because I think he was a little different before, you know, he got into the WWF and then he became the Hulk Hogan that everybody knows. Yeah. But I don't know exactly how his gimmick was before that. 